Carol, both you and I have gone out to do taped interviews with, with yes. chefs at, at, their, at their own so restaurants. Much fun. Well, it, it is always a lot of fun, but I tell you, I've, I've never been so surprised as I was when I went down to see Chef Steve Kane at the Waterfront uh, Seafood Grill in Seattle. I think that's on Pier 70. Because he, he, I walked in, he said, well, I'm going to make mashed potatoes. And I thought, well, OK, oh, okay. That's potatoes. <laughs> then he added lobster. Lobster mashed potatoes. Watch this one, folks. It was wonderful. I'm so jealous. I know. <laughs> We're at the Waterfront Seafood Grill on Pier 70, overlooking beautiful Elliott Bay in one of the nicest facilities I've ever seen. And we're with executive chef Steve Kane. And Steve, uh, it must be great working here. This beautiful view and everything. Well, it's, it's a beautiful facility. And what's nice is take a break, go out on the deck, and enjoy the beautiful day. And have something very, very different, which you're going to fix for us today. Yeah, we're going to do some Maine lobster uh, mashed potatoes. It's, uh, it's, I've never heard of that before. Is that new? Is that it's been around well, a long time? Well, um, we do a main lobster here, and I was thinking to myself, what if we make something like a lobster bisque gravy with the main lobster mm -hmm. and go ahead and put it over the top of mashed potatoes? That sounds pretty, <laughs> it's pretty popular, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, it's one okay. of our best sellers. What kind of potatoes do we use? Because there's a lot in the, in the stores right now. The potatoes we're going to cook today are russets, and it's a really beautiful potato. Um, it really is. Yeah. We go ahead and we peel those. And okay. then we're going to quarter them. And what I like to do is get a pot on the stove with a probably a gallon and a half of water to say eight potatoes. Okay. And what we'll go ahead and do is we'll bring that to the boil. I already had these going a little bit earlier. But I like to quarter these so they cook quickly. So yes. they have a uniform shape. That's important so you don't lose the edges and they, they cook quickly. Okay. Well, Steve, the, the, the basis of this is going to be the, the sauce that you put on top, obviously. Yeah. So let, let's talk about that a little bit. Okay. Well, the base is the lobster uh, stock right here. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go ahead and uh, shell our lobsters. Okay. We save the shells. We're going to put those in about a 400 degree oven uh, with a little bit of butter and some shallots. Okay. And what we're going to do is take those shells and caramelize them and bring the oils up on those so mm -hmm. they have a really beautiful uh, smell and flavor mm -hmm. going. At that point, we'll go ahead and we'll add the carrots, fennel, onions, tomatoes, parsley, and tomato paste. Okay. We'll let that roast for approximately 35 minutes, and that's going to go ahead and, and bring the sugars out. Mm -hmm. And at that point, we put it in a large uh, stock pot, add water to that, and we'll simmer that for approximately four hours. And that's what's going on right here in this pot. With the exception of, of uh, not overbeating the potatoes, is there anything extra that you'd put into the to the mashed potatoes? Uh, we use uh, roasted garlic. Okay. A little bit of butter and cream. And how we do roast the garlic for that recipe is we uh, take and peel garlic cloves, mm -hmm. about a pound of them, uh, use wow. four cups of, about four cups of olive oil, and we <laughs> simmer that on the stove till the garlic uh, gets very soft. Yes. Uh, we'll drain the oil off and uh, reserve that for use later, and then we'll just go ahead and process the garlic paste in the Robocu, and that's the finished product right there. This is right here. Yeah, that's the garlic paste right there. Okay, let's. Put and that's this got over. a really beautiful flavor. Sure. Oh yeah. And uh, one of the reasons, one of the reasons we do that is um, raw garlic can tend to be a little bit bitter sometimes. Yes, it can. And that's and that roasting the oil brings out the nuttiness and that really sweet mellow flavor ah, okay. that I love about garlic. Okay, back to our lobster. Yes, stock. indeed. Okay, we've been reducing this for uh, probably about probably about uh, half an hour. Mm -hmm. It's been going out. It's starting to get nice and thick. Those flavors are concentrating. Um, when you're making sauces, you need foundation yes. to build on, and this is uh, this is what we're starting with right here. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of heavy cream to this. Okay. And that's in the container right there. Right here. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. It is heavy, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to we're going to add approximately a cup to this. Okay. Great. Yeah. And. Um, Basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to bring that down. We're going to take it about halfway from where it's at right now. And then we're going to start adding our butter to that. Let's go ahead and why don't you hand me that big main lobster back right in back of you there, George. <laughs> here we go, the star of the show. I'm going out the door, folks. I'll, yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, this is a, this is a one and a half pound uh, main lobster. And uh, this is coming right uh, from right around the Portland area. Oh, off really? The, uh, off the uh, Ali Smith boat local fishermen down there, the mm -hmm. lobstermen that go out. And this lobster has been cooked for approximately 10 to 12 minutes. That's all? Yeah. Okay. And, and heavily salted water. When we cook lobster here, we add uh, enough salt to the water so it has almost a taste of seawater. 
Oh, when okay, sure. Lobsters, yeah. Sure. Now, if you if you have this lobster here and you wanted to go ahead and maybe use it in a saute dish, mm -hmm. uh, where you're going to maybe like a Thai dish or a, a something like that, mm -hmm. you might only cook this for four or five minutes. Wow. So when it goes into the pan, you have that additional for, uh, additional time, time for cooking, and it's yeah. not going to be overcooked because this lobster, when it's cooked perfectly, has that really nice, sweet, really crunchy, good texture to it. And when it's overcooked, that's no good. It gets a little tough too, though. Yeah, it does. It does. It's a little bit tough. Okay. All right. So um, basically, what we do here is when we shell these lobsters. We go ahead and we uh, we twist the tails off, break the claws. Go ahead and reserve the bodies for our stocks. That's mm -hmm. where that's our sauce okay. right here that we have right Good. there. And then uh, if you can go ahead and hand me the lobster meat in back of you, that would be oh, great. Oh yeah. You wonder if you get enough lobster? The answer is yes, you do. <laughs> and look at that. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah. Well, that's one of the real treasures. We have our beautiful Dungeness crab and our salmon up here, but down in Maine, they uh -huh. are lucky. Oh they? yeah. It's beautiful oh, stuff. Yeah. Okay, um, I've shelled this earlier today. Um, and what we've got here is we've got the tails right here. Mm -hmm. And basically all you have to do is twist that off, lay it down on the board, and just go ahead and cut it in half. Mm -hmm. And these are, uh, these are really beautiful. We've cleaned these. Right. Um, there's, uh, there's roe and tamale on the front end right by the body. And uh, very often we'll save that and we'll go ahead and uh, whip that into a butter to finish sauces with. Oh, okay. And it's got the uh, tamale and roe have a really beautiful uh, sweet flavor to it. I think most people probably just toss it over their shoulder or into a garbage can. Yeah, yeah and that's and too bad. That is too bad. Back east they take that and they, they, they make molds and then they slice it and sell them in delis for about $48 a pound. <laughs> Don't throw it away. <laughs> Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Okay, what okay. do we do now? Basically all we do, we prep it is we just make an incision right through the back here and then it kind of lifts up. And then there's there's a there's a tendon that runs through the middle that you want to go ahead and pull out. And uh, my my uh, my cooks were very efficient earlier today, so I'll see if I have one right here for you, so I can kind of show you that. But they get uh, they're almost you know almost uh, you can almost see through them. Can't yeah, you? yeah, you can. So there here's one right here. So we right. want to make sure you want to make sure and just just pull that out, and, uh, and then get all that shell out so you don't have anything in your sauce there. Okay. Great. So we have that right there. We'll reserve that. We're going to sure. go ahead and chop a little bit of this up. Okay. So we're going to make sure that we have really nice big pieces on this you right bet. here, That's George. beautiful. Yeah. Um, okay, what, what are we going to add to our sauce here today now? Okay, great. Um, pretty much what we got going on right here is we have our, we have our uh, lobster stock and our cream. We're just about to the point we need it at. We'll turn that back on. And then we're going to go ahead and um, start finishing that with some butter, and then we'll add the lobster after that. Okay. Okay, great. Can you go ahead and uh, hand me the chives over there, please, you George? You bet. You bet. We, uh, I, I, really, I really love finishing um, I'm gonna take the this sauces. Out Thank you so very much. So we can see it Great. a little bit better. I really love finishing sauces with chives. Um, I like that sweet, mellow yeah. uh, onion flavor, yeah. and, they're, and they're, they're, they're just beautiful. I really enjoy working with And there's with nothing those. better than fresh chives. Exactly. You know? I mean, yeah. you, you can buy them in a bottle, and that, that's fine, folks. But sure. you know, if you're really, uh, when, you're, when you're working with something as nice as lobster, Keep it as fresh as you can. Yeah. You know, another thing that I like to do, and this is a rich dish with the sauce, of course, everything. Go ahead and let the go ahead and let the lobster shine through. Go ahead and just keep it really clean as far as the components and the amount of things that you're mm -hmm. adding to it so it comes through. These uh, Washington potatoes that we're working with today are just beautiful. They have a really when they whip up, they have a really creamy, beautiful texture to them. And it goes perfect with this. It goes perfect with the sauce. We're just adding a little bit of the roasted garlic that we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, a very small amount of cream. Um, and I like to use white pepper um, in that preparation. Why? Well, what's the difference between white and black pepper? Well, the white pepper uh, is it has a little bit of heat to it. I think it has a little more, more of a floral quality okay. when it's in there. And also, it gives you, you still have that nice beautiful whitish yellow. You keep the color. Yeah, you keep the, keep color, the color together color. too, yeah. Uh, so we've got our chives ready to go. Right. The lobster meat's cut. This is just at about the perfect spot right now um, where we're going to go ahead and start uh, emulsifying the sauce, which means we're going to take the liquids we have in there and the butter and we're going to uh, we're going to make the sauce. Make it nice yeah, and thick. Yeah, it's going to okay. be nice and thick. If you could hand me that butter right there, it would be bet. great, George. Okay. And you probably will use a little less than that at home, folks. But <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this this uh, amount of sauce that we have going right here. Oh, and it's just probably so probably going to feed about probably going to feed about between eight and ten people. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, this is going to be great. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll add a little bit of this. And what I like to do making this sauce is I like to make sure that the butter is at room temperature. 
So when oh, you're starting the yeah. sauce, uh, the emulsification process is just a little bit better. When you're making when you're making bear blanc, so we're making this lobster sauce right here. You want to have the heat on. The sauce has to be hot to take the butter, but you don't want a lot of steam coming off the top. Okay. Because what's going to happen is that's going to there's a chance that your sauce is going to break, your butter and your liquors are going to separate. Oh, and that's, separate. Yeah, yeah, that's no okay. good. Okay. Add a little bit of uh, a little bit of butter at a time. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Now I got a little secret for you when you're making sauce. Okay. It's something in the business that we do. It's called holding the line. What it is is we'll go ahead and we'll put a spoon in here, then we'll pull it up and we'll draw a line through it with our finger. Uh -huh. And if that line holds in the sauce, it's you've got the perfect thickness to your sauce. But there. if it runs together, if it runs, it yeah, you need to have a little bit more reduction or add a little bit more butter depending on what kind of sauce you're making. Wow. Now when that's ready, the next thing to go in would be. We're going to go ahead and add the chives. The chives. Yep. Um, can I please have a little bit of white pepper? Sure. It's right there. there Thank you. Go. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of that. Thank you. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and add some of our chives because we want to save a little bit for garnish later. Okay. I just like the color and the sauce. I'm funny that way. Um, we're pretty much ready to go here. Okay. We've got our sauce done right here. It's looking really good. We're going to put this in the back burner. And now we're just going to go ahead and warm our lobster meat for just a minute. Okay. And we have a little bit of clarified butter. It's in this one right over here. Oh, this here. one here? We're just going to use just a little bit of that. That pan's got a nice little bit of heat to it. Yep, sure We want to go ahead and get that in and get that butter hot so that when we add our, so when we add this, it's not, uh, it's at the proper temperature. Mm -hmm. But we need to be careful because we don't want it to smoke too much. We got a little bit of smoke going on yeah, there. a little bit of smoke. So we're just going to go it's ahead hot. and add that in. Get that going right here. And this lobster meat is pretty much cooked all the way. So all we're doing, all we're doing here is just heating this up a little bit. Just heating it, right. Yeah. You're not going for any brown or any, no. any particular color. No, uh, we don't, we don't want to do that. Just get it warm. Yeah, we're just going to get that warm. We'll just let that warm up just a little bit. OK. That's good. We're yeah, just that really is all it takes. Yeah, it's okay. just it's just a minute or two. Okay. All right, um, George, if you'd have me one of the, the one of the bowls over there, sure, that would be fantastic. One of these? Yeah, we're just about right. ready. Oh my! And then we have. Uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna ask you to grab some hot potatoes there that we uh, oh, okay. got done earlier. Here we go. Probably want to uh, do six eight ounces in there, maybe four good spoons like that. Really? We want to give them a good portion. You know, it's a lot. We need some value here. A little bit more. There we go. That's okay. good portions for Yeah, them. there we go. It's meant to be shared. Oh, yeah. All your friends. Well, I don't know if you're going to share after you taste no, probably this. Probably not. Probably <laughs> okay, not. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add our lobster meat now. And uh, this is why I like those big pieces. Oh, my. Lobster meat right on top of there. And we're going to, this one's for you, so we're going we're gonna to set you up proper. And uh, you know there's, there's, there's a little bit of liquid in the bottom of the pan? Yes, yeah. That is butter and just a little bit of that lobster yeah. jus, oh. and that is, you just want to go ahead and get a little bit of that right on there you too. You bet. Okay, and next we're going to go ahead and do our lobster uh, gravy. Okay. And uh, you probably want to use a ladle at home, but since I'm a pro, I'm just going to go ahead and sauce like okay. this. Okay. Well, there that's we go. nice and thick too. Yeah. But, but not, not, not real not, thick. Not, not real just thick. Just a very yeah. nice gravy. Okay, there we go. Went on the front end, and now we're going to do just a little bit more chive. Okay, George. Bon now, do we have a really good shot of that, guys? Okay, because I'm going in and ruining yeah. it right now. Those potatoes are probably pretty hot. Well, so. we got to have a little potato, though. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. You doing all right? Mm -hmm. It's not okay at all. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> please, please try this. Now, we are at the Waterfront Seafood Grill on Pier 70, overlooking Elliott Bay. And uh, Steve Kane is our executive chef who has made one of the, the nicest dishes I've ever tasted. So I thank you so Great. very, very much. I hope you come down and sit on the deck, sit in the sun and have some lobster mashed potatoes. That sounds pretty good <laughs> to me, folks. How about you? <laughs>